up, y'all? I'm Kennedy Scales, and this is Everything Ken, the show. Hey guys, hope you all have a wonderful day. Today I have a very, very special guest on my show. And y'all going to be so, so excited when I tell you guys who it is. It's Lamont Rucker. Now you guys may know him from Tyler Perry movies and Why Did I Get Married and Why Did I Get Married Too. But he was able to come to Hampton and talk to our liberal art students about art entertainment. Giving them a lot of great advice on how to be successful in the art and entertainment industry. Now, I personally, you know, I'm not a liberal arts major, but I am going into arts and entertainment in a certain way as I am trying to be a growing talk show host. So I did go to hear him speak. I loved the advice that he gave students. I took some of it personally as well, because a lot of it was generic advice that everybody could use. You didn't have to be a liberal arts major. A lot of us are all just trying to make our way to the top, and he gave the perfect advice for that. He also took some time after the session to speak to students one-on-one -on -one in a group setting um, about what they can do to become the best actor they can be in the arts entertainment world. I was so, so blessed to get an interview with him. It was last minute, I'm not going to lie guys, I did not even know he was here at Hampton until last minute, but I was able to stop by and catch an interview with him. So you guys get to hear a little bit of what he has to say today on the show. But, of course, before we get started, let's go ahead and hop right into our weekly recap. First, I want to talk about voting. Voting was just this Tuesday, November the 8th. A lot of students and faculty here in Hampton went out to go vote, and a lot of the organizations and clubs are promoting to vote as well. Not only that, but hey, let's go ahead and celebrate. Clap our hands, clap our hands. Maryland has had their very first Democratic governor, Wes Moore. Congratulations, we are so excited and know that you're going to do amazing things in Maryland. And for anybody who's from Maryland or from the DMV area, I know you guys are especially excited as well. And I know a lot of people are kind of having some ups and downs with who's winning in their states depending on if you're republican or democratic so let me know down in the comments if you are excited for who won or who you voted for or what you hope to happen during this election or drop down below what your hopes were for the election or what you wish could have been done differently or what you think that may happen in the future with who was elected in your state that's a good one right there because a lot of these people have people that were elected that they do not agree with. And I'm genuinely curious about what my viewers have to think about who was elected in their state. So please, feel free to hit me up or comment down below on what your thoughts are from this midterm election. Not only that, but I do want to also talk about the viral video that's been going around on TikTok. Last night I was laying in bed and this swarmed my feed on TikTok and Instagram. Let's go check it out. Your future away, babe. Multiple times, she's hit me twice. She's kicked me in the stomach. Yeah. I don't even know what to say, guys. That's crazy, and it's 2022, you know. But I think that what I would have to say is this is not the first time that something like this has been recorded. Okay, this has been happening, and and there has been other colleges and universities that have said oh we're gonna try something about it oh we're gonna try and um work on this situation or we don't um condone this type of uh behavior or things like that is always what they say but is anything really being done about it i want you guys to also comment down below what you think about that as well this behavior right here is unacceptable a lot of people are arguing oh she was drunk she was drunk i don't care nobody cares None of that behavior is acceptable whether you're drunk or not. And let's just be real. A lot of things that come to your mind are sober thoughts when you're drunk. 
and I feel like it was way out of hand for her to even be that comfortable to even say these things. She has been sent to court and UK has also said that they are working to make sure this young beautiful lady here is going to be taken care of and that they're gonna try and work hard to make sure these violations and these code of conduct rules are not being taken out of hand and are not being disrespected but we're gonna have to see if they're really gonna go through with it like i said a lot of universities say these things and don't go all the way through with it okay um and just to let you guys know this young lady as well um the african-american female um that was being abused here she was working the desk she said she said this was um a on campus job that she has and she saw the young lady walk in drunk cussing out the elevator talking all crazy obviously she could tell she was intoxicated and was just trying to help and that she was abusing her running her over with the car running her friend over with the car and she even said she called the ra and the ra was taking a long time to get down there to help so hey all these things are gonna have to be taken into consideration when it comes down to the court and what they decide they're gonna do how they're gonna charge this young lady and moving forward and also what the university is gonna do with it moving forward as well i also want to also highlight one more thing before um, we're going on going on into the interview i just want to highlight also that the students at uk uh, especially african-american students did have a protest um a peaceful protest speaking their mind and their heart about how they felt about what happened and just protesting for their rights and being treated respectfully and equally as usual, as they should be in America. But yes, please drop down in the comments below what you guys think about the situation and what you think should be done about the situation as well. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the interview. You guys, please meet Lamon Rucker. Hey guys, I have a very special guest today with me for my show. You might say hello to my followers today. How you doing, everybody? All right, I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. First of all, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. That is great. I'm so glad you were able to come to Hampton today. I have, my first question for you, though, is why do you think it was so important for you to come out here to Hampton and speak to these young, rising art entertainment majors? Um, well, I think uh, anytime you have the opportunity to come back and, um, you know, just give some advice. Right. Um, you know, answer questions. There are always tons of questions. Yes. I mean, you know, <laughs> I was on stage two three hours ago and right. really just kind of finishing up with all the other follow-up questions yes and, uh, so many other folks with new questions and so mm -hmm. forth so you know what some people know about Lamont Rucker mm -hmm. right, is, is also very limited so I wanted to make sure as well that you have the opportunity to let people know a little bit more about who you are what it really takes to do what it is we do um, but more more than anything like I said just kind of uh, answer and, and speak to some of the, uh, you know, some of the fears, some of the curiosities, but, you know, just the questions. You know, right. I remember being you all Yes. And <laughs> not really having any clue what the future holds. And, yeah. Um, uh, so I know what, I remember what that, what that feels like. So however we can uh, all kind of come back, reach back and bridge the gap for you all. Yeah. I think that's our responsibility as a, you know, as, as, the, as the older folks. <laughs> okay, okay. And then my last question for you, and I'll keep you here too long. I know you've been answering a lot of questions, like you said. Um, my last one for you is, so how, why do you think that the arts entertainment uh, community or industry is so big in the black community today? Why it's so big? Yes. Um, well, I, I think it's always been big, if mm -hmm. you will. I mean, I think um, I always say that the creative spirit is in everybody anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, and really, uh, the arts is um, not just a uh, is not just human nature, mm -hmm. but it's a, a part of every custom, every culture um, across the planet. Um, it's something that we've always held, um, you know, sacred. Really, yeah. at the core of our, um, you know, uh, you know, like I said customs and this is even beyond you know our history on this continent yeah you know what i mean yes so um so yeah it's 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 always it's always been big it's always been important we've always been um excellent at uh what we do as uh artistic people mm -hmm. and uh i think if there's anything that has expanded significantly over the years it's our 
how much more astute we've become um, as business men and mm-hmm. women in the uh, yeah. in in these spaces, um, so that we're not just the talent, you know, where the the owners and the stakeholders mm-hmm. of our of our gifts and our our content yeah. or um, our performance, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of folks who have gotten incredibly, incredibly, incredibly wealthy, um, hand over fist over things that we've done, we've built, um, and uh, and yet we don't have any license um, to yeah. it. So, um, so I hope we continue to be better at that and also take more responsibility right. for the stories that we're telling and the the content that we put out there and the uh, you know and the patterns of behavior that come with the content we put mm-hmm. out there. And that's yeah. everything from film, television, music, you know, reality shows. Yeah, uh, everything whatever. in the arts, yeah. Yeah, every, mm-hmm. everything. You know, we have to be very, really mindful, you know, of it. So whether it's, you know, mm-hmm. there's just, there's a lot of stuff that you can't be like, all right, is this, yeah. is this moving us forward or is this, just, yeah. you know, some more ratchetness? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Is this just going to create more destruction and more violence like mm-hmm. I'm, you know I'm, I'm so over those images and so over yeah. those stories and those songs and mm-hmm. those you know shows that really just continue to make us look like clowns mm-hmm. you know? um, yeah. so That's but good. yeah it's always been a big part of um, you know arts has always been a big part of, of, of who we are and mm-hmm. how we define ourselves and how we express you right know, um, how God works through us, and, um, and, um, so it's it's exciting to continue to still see. That. Great, great! Thank you so much. That was very meaningful. Thank you, thank you so much for coming to Hampton as well today. That was amazing speech, amazing conversation out there. Hampton students and myself really enjoyed it. I'm not even an arts major, but I really, really love the well, advice. Are you- Liberal um, arts and education? Or journalism, you broadcast school? journalism. Yes, sir. So yeah, a lot of the advice that you gave them, I took in as well. So thank you so much once relevant. again. Yes, yes, yes. Right, nice, well, to meet you. nice to meet you. This is, once again, Lamar Rucker, and I'm Candy Skills, and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much, Lamar Rucker, for coming out to Hampton University once again and speaking to these amazing liberal arts students. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me as well. I enjoyed your time here. The students and faculty enjoyed your time here. And we hope that you come back. And hey, fun fact for my viewers. Did you guys know that his wife is a Hampton alum? Yes, she is. So I'm sure we'll be seeing him a lot more here on campus. Once again, thank you so much. And I'll put his information right down below. You guys can follow him on Instagram. Now, before we close up, I want to mention one more good thing about today. And of course... It has to be food if I say a really good thing because I, I love food and I'm telling you guys it's a good thing that I found out today. Guess what? Crumble Cookie has a new cookie coming out for this week. You guys can go catch it at your local and closest Crumble Cookie. Alright? They have a new Buckeye Brownie. Alright? It's full of chocolate brownie, Buckeye peanut butter, and a smothering of melted semi-sweet chocolate. Mmm! Yes! That sounds so good, y'all. And I love chocolate. And I cannot wait to eat it, okay? I cannot wait. So you guys go try it out. And go try Crumble Cookie if you haven't. I met a few people who haven't tried it yet. They were kind of nervous that I wasn't going to be good. But I'm telling y'all, it is delicious. And when I get back home, I'm going to get as much Crumble Cookie as I want. And my parents cannot stop me, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. Once again, you, have a, you guys have a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share. And even if you are a regular viewer, please go ahead and share this video definitely, okay? And don't forget to comment down below about anything about voting or the whole UK student situation. I really want to hear what y'all thoughts are. We want to get engaged with you guys, and I just really want to know what you guys are thinking, okay? But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share, follow my main Instagram at thekin underscore, and my show's Instagram, everythingkin.theshow, so you don't miss any updates. And before I close out, I want to let you guys know that for the next two or three weeks, I will not be having a show because I will be taking a break for Thanksgiving break. But I'll be right back after Thanksgiving, giving you guys a couple more shows before Christmas break. So just make sure you follow the socials so you stay up to date, okay? That's all I have for you guys today. Once again, my name is Kennedy Scales, and you guys have a wonderful, blessed, and safe day. Bye!